Hey guys, it's my Pantry. Now it's time to do Ubisoft because Ubisoft is one of my favorite third party companies. And uh, I love Assassin's Creed, I love Rayman, I love No More Heroes. Yeah, or is that, is that a pseudo game or a Ubisoft game? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's do this because, you know, I want to get. Because uh, I don't want to screw up like I did with Microsoft uh, press conference, you know, like not knowing that the phone can only hold like an hour of footage. Okay, now I'm just rambling here. Let's get this shit started. Turn this up a little. And in his reign, the kingdoms of Gideon and Elf are united. The relic which threatened to destroy all was cast out to sea, seemingly forgotten. But now a new foe has awakened. The relic reclaimed. And what was once a powerful union lies fractured throughout the lands. Alright, we'll put the stick of truth in the toilet. <laughs> I love South Park, it's hilarious. No, no dream level. This game has to be sweet, lad! Show yourself, villain! Ha ha! You're a superpower, so no Oh my god. Unit friends? Ah oh, shit, we got the wrong game. <laughs> Everybody, let's Oh, you're kidding me? Stop buffering! Let's start the damn video! Let's continue the damn I hate when it bumpers like that. This time, it's serious. Zappa, the fractured but whole. <laughs> fractured but whole. Now available for pre-order. I need to play Stick of Truth. Ladies and gentlemen, two of my favorite human beings in the entire world. Matt Stone and Shrey Parker. All right. <laughs> I hear the South Park thing. What's up? How are you guys doing? First of all, I'd just like to say that these mics are fucking dumb. And I feel like an idiot wearing it. Don't act like you don't wear those during sex every look single night, my friend. Look at this. Look at you. You guys are you fucking kidding me? I'm damn buffering. Jesus Christ. that you guys, after the last game, uh, said that you were never, ever, ever going to make another video game again. That's true. And, um, but, uh, the, the, big, the big thing is we're kind of whiny babies. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we just realized that at the end, right at the end of Stick of Truth, learned how to make video games. <laughs> and it was kind of too late. Yeah. And we were like, well, you know how to make a good video game. So yeah. we have a good template to do it. And we thought... <laughs> Yeah. yeah, do it again. Fuck yeah, it. We might regret it, but we're doing it again. Yeah. Look, I want to say, knowing you two, uh, I don't think a fear of regret has ever kept you from doing anything. I think yeah, that has to be a... You we've, guys, had, we've had some regrets. Yeah, yeah I'm I've saying just regrets, power yeah. through it. Now, um, who, who are you working with on this game? Uh, we're working with Ubisoft San Francisco, and um, it's yeah. basically... Yeah, I'll keep referring out for that. Um, <laughs> it's, a, you know, it's the next chapter. It, it continues the story... Kid I think it's broken. I think the the so conference is more broken than a disc yeah, because it keeps like skipping. Mm -hmm. And so we get really into your backstory as the new kid of what, like any superhero adventure, like we get into your backstory of why your butthole is so amazing, basically. Yeah. Deep into that. God, we're gonna really get deep into your butthole. Yeah, deep into <laughs> your butthole on this one. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, those guys are never out of touch. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the okay. legends of South Park, Trey Parker. Pass God damn it, this buffering is, is starting to piss me off. It's possible Jen's might piss me off more than Microsoft's press conference. My God See, damn. Press conference. Uh, if it was 215, we'd have no technology. We'd all be incredibly visible, staring into our hands, waiting for somebody to tweet us back. I am so insanely happy to be here today. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this is a super special time of year because I love games and I think it's the rare time.
time of year that journalists, developers, gamers, and fans of the industry get to come together in one place and collectively lose our shit. So I am so, so happy to be here. On behalf of the UB team, I want to welcome everybody here to the historic Orpheum Theater in LA, as well as all the gamers, fans, and journalists tuned in online from all over the world. And we have got a very special welcome here for some of our most dedicated fans. She doesn't sound so energized. Star all right over the world. Please stand and wave. Take your moment in the sun. You guys look amazing. Some of you look more amazing than others. I bet the rest of you wish you had more than just a fucking t-shirt, but that's okay. We'll talk. Jesus Christ, getting pretty right, so foul mouth, Daddy Three, aren't we? Industries have consumers as passionate and personally invested as the gaming industry. One day you're on a message board calling for the abrupt, non-consensual removal of a CEO's reproductive organ. On a message board, and the next thing you know, you've got. Maybe because I've been watching so much of Nintendo's E3. And let's be honest. I think we all know this has been a very intense year for Ubisoft, and there's been no shortage of, shall we call it, constructive feedback. Keep or skipping. Teabagging, whatever you want to call it. But I can say personally that. Well, it's Ubisoft slightly less annoying years, than buffering. Ubisoft teams listen and they take what you think very, very seriously. We believe here that passionate and honest feedback makes games better. Even if you have to think uh, like all the criticism you know, they got, that they got for Assassin's Creed Unity. Which I haven't played, but thank God I haven't played it. You know what I'm talking about. The UB team has a single driving passion. They love games and they want to make kick-ass games that you want to play. And to that end, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the guy. You fucking kidding me. About this press conference. You guys are going to lose it. This is going to be awesome. Enjoy. Okay, thank you. I love gaming. And I love the people that create the games. But I also love a lot the people that play those games. So it's a... Uh... He loves me. Because I play games. At Ubisoft, we do take risks. It has been part of the day one. And we will continue to take risks to amaze gamers and create the games of tomorrow. And today, I have a surprise for you, as we said... And this surprise <sighs> is a new IP in a new genre. New IP. And this game couldn't wait till the end of the show. So enjoy it now. Oh, so many new IPs at E3. <sighs> Alright. Ooh. This looks pretty damn intense already. You know, if you keep skipping, I'm probably gonna miss out on a lot of this. For fuck's sake. Is this another Shadow of Mordor title? Hmm. This looks pretty interesting. Stop skipping. Oh. This looks pretty interesting.
Oh, that's the game's name. Hmm. What the hell? <laughs> when you look inside yourselves, huh? Good night. Jesus Christ! Viking. Samurai, perhaps, huh? When your enemies are arriving at the gates, this conference is broken! Stop buffering and just continue with the fucking press conference. Block the attack and the impact when you strike the winning blow. Or bring your friends with you. Because while a single individual can win a fight, it takes a band of warriors to win a battle. And when I say a band of warriors, I mean two teams of four warriors in a live multiplayer demonstration on console right now. <laughs> is that night gonna go? Or is it just, okay, it's gonna go, okay. That night I was thinking, oh. Okay, should I go or should I stay? I don't know if I want to go. I have to go? Okay. <laughs> this reminds me of Dynasty Warriors. This looks kind of fun, I have to say. Oh, I'm mad. Damn. All right. Sorry for not speaking much, I'm just enjoying the moment here, because... Oh, oh... FREEDOM! That's my Mel Gibson, everyone. You like it? Yeah, I know, it's terrible. Oh, that's what I mean. Like, 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 what? You're gonna release the game tomorrow? Like, like, come on! Yeah, I'm pretty sure you still got plenty of time to do on that game. Like, why are you gonna release it so early tomorrow? It's like, it's like, but okay, it's gonna be playing at the U Ubisoft conference. That, that's a, that, that's a relief. Yeah, I'd much rather wait until the gang comes out. Nice. But I appreciate your offer. Yeah, that game does look pretty amazing. I just want to say, that was super juicy. I really love that last banning. These next two games are already fan favorites. And in response to the 
Assassin's Creed? Assassin's Creed and Rayman. Not really so much in the racing games. I'm a, again, again, like I said in the mi Microsoft vi Microsoft video, I'm not really so much in the racing games or sports games, unless it's Mario, because they're not so realistic. Assassin's Creed Syndicate? Is this Assassin's Creed Syndicate? It's a horse. This has to be Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Hey. Is this Assassin's Creed Syndicate? Okay, I guess it's not. What is this? A golden pistol. Get that game because it looks funny. Uh, that was just a tiny taste of the Trials Fusion awesome level max expansion pack that's coming out on the 14th of July on Xbox One, PS4, and the PC. And for any Trials Fusion fan, it's the business. And if you are even a tiny bit still on the fence about this, uh, dude, you're a cat riding a fire breathing unicorn. What are you, a robot? <laughs> now, my friends. We're gonna make a hard right turn from kitties and unicorns to a virus-ridden urban hellscape. Yes! The vision! We have having the same feel at this exact same time. Prepare your bodies for one of UB's most highly anticipated games to date. It's time for the division. Is it another trailer or are you gonna show the same trailer? Thank God they stopped buffering and stopped skipping too. Hey, it's good to see you. Is my mic working? All right, it's good to see you. Yes, it's good to see you. Welcome. All right, hello everyone. Uh, so, as probably most of you know from judging from the response out here, uh, the Division is an online open world action RPG. But at its core, it's a cooperative experience. But today, we're here to introduce you to the Dark Zone, a walled off quarantined, highly contaminated area all through the middle of Manhattan. And it's here where, as a player, you have the choice whether to work alongside other agents or turn against them. In the Dark Zone, we want you to experience the tension and the fear and the paranoia of playing in a place where absolutely anything can happen at any time. A place where you can trust no one. Yeah, like Hollywood. Oh! <laughs> so here's a glimpse of what could happen to you in the dark zone. <laughs> I 
I'm doing another trailer. I'm already excited enough with the first trailer. This looks pretty interesting. Fucking fire. Yep. <laughs> you hear that, the guy in the background? Oh shit! Ah, the Willem scream. I love that movies. This level seems pretty slow. I know you're trying to build up some tension, but... Come on, man. Game looks pretty awesome. Still looks awesome. Still excited for that game.
even when the even when the field wasn't finished. Yes, when you but, weren't supposed to play. Yeah, it looks amazing. Um, huge dig move there at the end. <laughs> but um, I just I want to say I mean this is a compliment. This game is looking like it needs to come with. I don't know what it was with E3 being all so <laughs> foul mouthed yeah, all of a sudden. <laughs> I guess you're allowed to um, curse at E3, right? Why does everybody else get to craft themselves in terror the same way that I did when I played the game last year on the floor? Uh, well, for those of you lucky enough to be with us here at E3, for the first time, the division is hands-on playable at our booth. So hopefully everyone will come by and play. I wish I was there. about that. Awesome. Uh, and also, for those of you at home who are clamoring to get your hands on the game early, we're happy to announce that we're going to be having betas on uh, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC starting early next year. So everyone will get to play. Sorry, but I don't own either console. And, and please check Yet. that out to be able to figure out, uh, get more information about the betas. Sweet. Now, now that we know they're moving into beta, when's the game actually going to be available to everybody out there to play? Buy and flick into their own box rules. Yes. Uh, today we're super happy to announce that Tom Clancy's The Division will be released on March 8th, 2016 on all platforms simultaneously. Yay! 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 <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> so thank you very much, everyone, and have a great E3. Right on, everybody. <laughs> I just, uh, I, I did get to play this game. It's tactical. It's terrifying. It's obviously incredibly cool. So I can't wait for you guys to check it out on the floor. Now, next up this afternoon is the newest release of the critically acclaimed City Builder from Ubisoft's Blue Byte Studio. So everybody, pack up your astronaut diapers because we are departing astronaut this diapers. planet. Looks like a beautiful well. Ubisoft presents. Wow, that looks so futuristic. A blue bike production. Is this Metro? <laughs> it looks like fucking Metro. Sorry, well, other oh, M. Are they on the moon? How are they able to get a, a, a truck on the moon? If they're on the moon, that is. Maybe I shouldn't question it. Oh, okay, it's only it's only like uh, some sort of desert. Okay. I thought I thought like what? They're on the moon? How are they able to drive on the moon? Holy shit! Wait, are they are they in space? Is this space? Uh, huh. Okay, uh, the game looks nice, but uh, can we uh, can we look at how the game will play? Oh, it is the moon. It must be our new Earth now. Oh, there's there's Earth. They really upgraded the moon. Hmm. Anno 2205. It looks beautiful, but I wish I could see some gameplay. I want to see how the game will play. Following him. Oh, so we are going to see some gameplay footage. Okay, good, good, good. Now, oh, game luck. Okay, stop establishing that the game looks beautiful. Can we get some. Raise your city. Wait a minute. Don't tell me. Is this... Is this some simulation game? Is this Sims in Space? Race to 
space. I'm not really into simulation games. Implying that, assuming that this is a simulation game. Because that's what I'm, what I'm getting from this game. Raise your city and... That's why, for, for, for I can tell. Yeah, I'll pass. So we had samurai, we got fire breathing unicorns, tallies, spaceships, virus ridden dark zones. This has been a pretty mean friendly show. What do you think? Oh, it's that's pretty awesome. Hey, look. Actually no. sitting here oh, he's dressed you're like the protagonist from Syndicate. Meme. Tell me who you are. Well, I'm Rick from RBF Productions and Elf, and uh, give yourself a request of me here as Jacob Fry. Jacob Fry from AC Syndicate. Hey. Look insanely hot. There's, I, but a guy from your era probably has rickets or something I can catch. But you look Is that what you're going to talk about next? Assassin's Creed Syndicate? We should come up with a meme really quickly for the show. Right now I'm pitching who kept the Christmas lights on during the apocalypse. But there's got to be and just Captain Picard like screaming that out. Do you have a meme you want to you pitch? Oh. Guys with rickets are super hot? Well, if you were talking to Picard, it would be engaged. Okay, good. We did that together. All right. Uh, standing next to me right now, my friends, is Jason Altman, the executive producer of our next game, looking just as foxy as Jacob Fry. <laughs> There's almost fewer rickets. Um, with 110 million players, a billion songs dance, and more than a billion lifetime views on YouTube, this game franchise is one of the pillars of the Ubisoft family. Right? This is Science's Queen Syndicate, right? Thanks, I'm going to leave it to you. It's the fans that have made Just Dance the success that it is. And because oh. of them, I'm really proud to say that Just Dance has become the biggest music video game franchise of all Just time. Dance. A new song. Just Dance game! Woo! <laughs> Not really. Okay, people are complaining that Call of Duty plays the same, even though each game gives us different story and different characters to interact with, yet Just Dance is just like... It's just, just the same. Let's get a bunch of people in here and just dance in, and then we're gonna add some new songs. Boom! A, a brand new Just Dance game. Nothing the same. Nothing different. Other than new songs, but. What? Oh my god. Speak up! There you go. Mom, why aren't you dancing? To, to the people who are watching this video are not dancing. Dance along. So hot. So hot. I want 
It was worth it just to dance to the music. But I'm still not getting the game though. Probably get it from my from my from my cousin for Christmas. I want to give you a huge congratulations because your album Everything Is For and the single Want to Want Me just hit number one on the top 40 radio charts this morning. Number one, congratulations. And uh, it was amazing seeing you up there. You know, I, I had to stay at my seat. You know what? I, 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 you know, I, I'm so glad this song is number one this mm -hmm. week and everything. But I, the only thing is, I, I just wish you came up here and danced oh, with us. You know what I'm saying? It's, I just, sadly, Jason, I am living stumbling proof that not all of our people can dance. That's just, you know there's got to be one. I missed that meeting. But I want to I wanna get into it because I actually heard that you're actually a big fan of this dance. I am. Huge fan. Uh, you know, I, I love the idea that, you know, music can inspire people. But I feel like this this video game is, is such a part of pop culture. Now, I'll show you a music game. Here's a music game. Here. This is a real music game right here. This is a music game. You know, she could get it, so it inspires everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's really great. Um, and I'm really excited because this, obviously, this song is a huge hit. Double one hit. It's going to be in the game. Thank you. We're going to want to buy it. They're going to want to dance. They're going to be like you. Can't be Jason Derulo, but you're going to be like Jason Derulo. Um, so thank you so much for coming out today. That was so exciting. That was a big surprise. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you tomorrow. Come on, give it up for Jason Derulo, everybody! So he said before I uh, run backstage and try to grab a selfie with Jason Derulo. You're going to fight about that? You will. <laughs> oh. One more thing to share. Uh, Just Dance 2016 will be available this October on all platforms. The Wii, Xbox 360, PS3. But we have something special for Wii U, Xbox One, and PS4 players. We still going? Really? Just Dance Unlimited. We're introducing a streaming service that brings new songs all year long and all the greatest hits of Just Dance straight to your console. It's something the fans mm -hmm. have been asking for for a long time. It's called Just Dance Unlimited and it's the first ever Dance On Demand streaming subscription service. Anyone with a copy of Just Dance 2016 on Wii U, Xbox One, or PS4 will be able to subscribe. That's killer. It's so great. Wow. It's new, fresh content all the time. So great. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Everybody be up for the other Jason, OJ, Jason Altman. <laughs> oh, God, lady. Ooh, and what's this? What's this? What's this? Our intelligence has confirmed the existence of a new threat that is unlike any we have seen before. This organization has the ability to carry out attacks anywhere in the world. They are highly lethal and indiscriminate of age, religion, or nationality. The potential for loss of human life and psychological terror is substantial and cannot be ignored. They are the very definition of an unknown quantity. Our only choice of action is to meet force with force. As of this moment, my program is reactivated and I am handing over command of all global field operations to you. Okay, what is this? Recruit your operators from among the world's foremost elite. Orders and protocols are irrelevant. Is this the Rainbow Six Siege that I saw at the Microsoft? The sheep that safeguards the civilized world from those who wish to do it wrong. No matter how or where our enemies strike, no matter what defense they cower behind, Team Rainbow must stand. Yep, it is. Ooh. Now, if you watched the conference last year, you know that I personally lost my shit 
when I saw Rainbow Six Siege. I was so excited. I love this franchise. Really? From the audience reaction, I think we're all having the same feeling about this game. It is close quarters combat like you have never experienced before. Everything is destructible. And my friends, once you die, <coughs> you stay dead. It's explosive. It's bone rattling. It's intense. And it's led by an equally intense but cool-headed woman by the name of Six. You probably recognized her in the cinematic trailer. And now it is my great honor to welcome to the stage the extraordinary Angela Bassett. Uh, what? What? Angela, what? What are you doing here? Tina Turner, everyone. I love this game. I love this franchise. Good. But now that you're in it, I don't even know. I got, I just, so, <laughs> this is actually the first time that you've been in a video game. My first time, right? Yeah. Oh, so I didn't know that was Angela Bassett. Didn't recognize her. Well, you know, thank you, Aisha. Yeah, I play the role of Six, and I'm the deputy director of the Rainbow Six Counterterrorism Unit. It has been a great experience so far. And, you know, I'm all about playing interesting characters, and this definitely was the venue for that. Yeah, I, I think, actually, uh, people don't realize how complex video game acting can be. When I was in Watch Dogs, my character got pancaked by a garbage truck, so I'm just happy to see Aww. that yours is a little more I still layered. need to play Watch Dogs. Yeah, yeah, it looks so good. At least to my knowledge. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, well, mostly she just guides the rainbow unit, you know, to make sure that the operation has... You know all of the intel that they need to be able to eliminate the threats. Right. You've, you. I mean, as an actress, it's incredible to be here with you because you, you've played everyone: uh, Tina Turner, Dr. Betty Shabazz, Rosa Parks, now you're Marie Laveau in American Horror Story. In what? In were there any ways in which doing this work differed from those other experiences for you? Well, I've always gravitated toward characters that, you know, challenge me as an actor. So in that respect, it wasn't very much different. And there was a lot of, you know, stuff from a movie set or TV set that was applicable to this. You know, it's all about character and it's all about story. You know, and I was able to really just take on the character and make it my own. And, and of course, you had the director who was there leading you because you're, you know, there alone. So you right. want to make sure that the stakes were heightened and you were exactly where you needed to be. And, you know, for those gamers who are out there who are taking, taking command. Yeah, and it's an immersive experience. It's like living through a film, and with you in this film, we get to all play opposite you. So I know it's a dream come true for me. I can't wait to see what you've done with it. Ladies and gentlemen, truly one of the great actresses of our time. Please give it up for Angela Fassett. Thank you. Tina Turner, everybody. Thank you. Give it up for Angela Fassett, everybody. been talking about uh, multiplayer, but there is so much more to Siege. And here to tell us more about it, please welcome to the stage Genevieve Forger, the community developer from, on Rainbow Six Siege. I, I can't even pronounce that name. I don't know how she does it. <laughs> Thanks, Aisha. Hi, everyone. Ever since we announced at E3 last year, the community has been asking about the solo and Jean of our game. Today, we are glad Quiet. to that Derond is back. <laughs> it will be playable solo or with up to four friends. In Terror Hunt, our players will be facing the most challenging AI in a Rainbow Six game yet. The terrorists will be able to create a stronghold and lead an assault using destruction in unexpected Ooh. ways. So let's yeah. see it in action. Sorry. Our team's mission tired. will be to disarm bombs set in a French consulate. We'll be following Team Captain Chris Henry over here throughout this demo. Keep in mind that this is a live demo and anything can happen. We hope you enjoy. Chris, are you ready? Yes, yeah, sure, thank you. Team, are you ready? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Good yeah. luck yeah. and have fun. Hope you enjoy. It. All right, guys, let's, let's do this. Yep, here we go. I want you to start heading to the right-hand side of your team. You have to stay back for a second and scout the left-hand side here. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> let me see. No, there's nothing on the left. I got the front door barricaded. It looks like the balcony at the top of the two is a barricade. This looks too. awesome. Okay, so just stick close to the right-hand Yeah, let's go. I see an opening on the top floor through that window in the corner there. Okay, yeah, let's head top, guys. Uh, Starting with the east side wall. Let me know if you see anybody inside the room, oh. alright? Yeah, okay. Bruno, let's hit the roof here a little bit too. Alright, just get it out. Okay, so we have 
two guys inside. Uh, we could probably take them out quietly. Okay. Coming to the roof now, Bruno. It's clear up my side. We're good? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get the hands here. Does anybody have a silencer on the inside? I have a silencer. I have oh. a and crawl under there. Slow mo shot. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's kind of a trend that's been going on in a lot of Call of Duty games. Like, like um, if a wall explodes, slow mo shot. Burn, 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 burn. Well, speaking of which, I haven't seen Call of Duty Black Ops 3 ID 3 yet. Maybe Sony will, will talk about it. Hopefully. Usually Microsoft discusses Call of Duty and uh, that was not mentioned here. Damn. on the scene that I'm switching to iPad. What's 
Assassin's Creed. Please tell me I have Assassin's Creed. Well done, guys. Or a new Rayman game. Well, I'm nowhere near LA, LA, honey. Back at home, we got something for you as well. We are glad to announce that our beta starts on September 24th. Yes, I'll check that game out. But I'm more excited for the, the Division more than Rainbow Six Siege. Jesus Christ! No. Give it up for her and the Rainbow Six Siege team for that live demo. Um, I actually watched those guys play that in person and they lost. So just so you know, that's real gameplay. That's the first time I've seen them win. Oh, <laughs> I, like, oh, I kind of wanted to lose again. I first fell in love with gaming. I think like most old people like me did loitering around in arcades. As a kid, my two best friends were named Defender and Tempest. I occasionally kick it with Cuber. These were beautiful friendships based on a solid foundation of quarters. And while arcades are mostly gone now, that style of gameplay is alive and well, as evidenced by Trackmania Turbo. This year, Trackmania is finally making the leap from PC to new gen consoles, and it's bringing its thriving community of customizable maps along with it. What is this? So what does this have to do with this whole arcade discussion you were you're talking about? It's like just another racing game. Uh, oh, is this homage to? Oh, I see. I'm a buyer. Okay, is it like one of those, uh, like one of those racing arcades that I used to play all the time? I have to admit, those are kind of fun. Yeah. How are you able to pronounce those words, honey? Hello, everyone. Bonjour. That trailer was cut from gameplay footage and trap replay. What you see is what you get. Now let's put our money where our mouth is and show you the game. Francois, make yourself at home and pick your favorite track. We all know that's 117. The other cards you see on screen are ghosts of the best time. Now play. I guess this does look a little more fun. Yeah, it looks more fun than Forza Motors Sport uh, 6, or whatever the fuck that game was called by some Microsoft. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh damn. Stadium just for the Blue Series. Four environments, four different gameplays, five difficulty levels. A total of 200 tracks. And if you think that's not enough, 
take a look at this magic. Our tracker Aldo mode generates levels on the fly at the press of one button. It's random, so we have no idea what we're going to drive. Three steps to it. Terraforming, look at the pretty beaches and islands, then the track being built, and finally, signage. <laughs> Infinite tracks you can immediately play. Let's see how well you do, Francois. Be careful, it's tricky. Ah. This looks pretty interesting. Not gonna lie. Oh, Jesus. By the way, this is a completely new environment, especially made for Trackmania Turbo. It's called Rollo Coaster Lagoon. We also have a brand new take on multi player roads, but for that, come beat times on the arcade machines on the booth. And if you're crazy enough, come play the VR demo at the show. Thank you. All right, give it up for Tommy and Francois. Clearly multilingual. Our next game has it all. A globe, yeah, yes, I understand. Our next game has it all. Okay, okay. I'm gonna stop right here because I'm out of time. And, and because I'm so excited for this. So I'll be right back for, for part two of this press conference.